everyone and welcome to my channel today I am bringing you my favorite type my favorite video and that is my August favorites yay um we have a lot of products to go over I have a lot of favorites a lot of not so favorites so if you're ready then I'm ready so let's get started okay as you can see I don't have my light on I just wanted to have the natural light come in and give my light a rest <laughs> so um yeah let's go ahead and dive right in because like I said I have a lot more likes I mean a lot <laughs> of favorites and a lot of not so favorites so let's just go ahead and jump on in first let's go ahead and talk about um, a body item and I actually did try this and I absolutely love it it is from XOXO sugar and it is the sugar scrub in melon rave oh my god I actually did do a indie brand sneaky peek on this brand but I actually did get to use this y'all got to go get this my skin felt so smooth and I smelled like a dream really I did it just this just smells so good that it I just can't stop smelling it it it, oh, it smells so good and like I said it made my skin feel so soft and refreshed and it just it is amazing if they could make this into like a body wash I would buy like 50 bottles of it because it is that damn good and yes I did say that that damn good um hit my tail but it just mm, no words it, it's great you guys need to go get that because it is the bomb 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 okay Moving on, I guess we could talk about, hmm, let's say, let's go ahead and just dive into some cosmetics. Okay, um, first off, I want to talk about a lip balm that I'm absolutely in love with. It came out of my Ipsy bag last month in July, and it is the Hemp's Pure Herbal Extract Lips. Ultra Moisturizing Herbal Lip Balm enriched with 100% 100 pure natural hemp seed oil. I love this stuff. And it doesn't have THC in it. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> um, but it just makes my lips so... So... I don't want to say... I don't want to say the M word because people don't like that word but it makes my lips so moisturizing and so uh just so silky smooth and I just absolutely love it I can't get my I can't get my adjectives out today but um I just love it and it smells good and it tastes good too but I don't you know recommend you putting on lip balm just to lick it off so I would suggest that you guys get this um I do believe Ulta sells it and um, of course you can get it on hemp's website as well all right now let's talk about a BB cream and this BB cream you guys should already know what it is because I have raved about it all month long and that is the 2B colors BB cream perfect skin beautifier this BB cream is legit I love 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 this BB cream I think it has more coverage than an actual BB cream really does um, I am in the shade peach 03 peach because the fair is darker than this and I just it just gives me a nice coverage it does not have SPF in it which is really good for me um, 
because I really don't like BB creams with a lot of SPF because they feel real cakey and heavy. But this one is just amazing. Um, I do believe they still have some in stock on Ulta's website. They were on sale for $4.50. I bought me another tube of it. And I just, I love it. And it's an oil-free formula. So, so for my girls who have, you know, who do tend to have oily skin, you can use this as well. So, yeah, I love it. All right. And it feels like silky smooth once it dries. It's just, it, I love it. All right. Now, on to some eye stuff. I did a review on these, I think in July. And I wanted to put them in my favorites last month, but I absolutely forgot all about them. And they are the Mally Beauty Evercolor Shadow Sticks. Um, I particularly like the Timeless Taupe one because I use it in my eyebrows. Instead of me buying a brow gel, I use this to put to place my brows down because it does have that waxy formula to it. And my brows don't go anywhere. So what I do is I will draw them, fill them in with my It Cosmetics brow pencil, and then I'll take this in the end and I will put some down, you know, put some down, then brush them down, and it, it just, I love it. it. It's awesome. Timeless tote. Um, they are $25 a piece. And they do have other colors because these are, you know, eyeshadows. And they don't budge when you use them as an eyeshadow. I know. If you want to, you can go down below and see my review on them. They're really good. Alright. Next, we are going to talk about a concealer. And if you saw my battle of the green concealers you know which one I'm getting ready to talk about. And that is the NYX Full Coverage con Concealer in Green. I absolutely love this concealer. It is very creamy. It's not too green where it's going to um, leave a green tint behind on my face. Because there have been... Um, Oh, using my BB cream. <laughs> there have been uh, green concealers, as you guys saw in that video, that did leave a green tint behind, and I didn't like them all that well. But this one does not. It blends out beautifully. It is a full coverage. It's just, uh, it is an amazing concealer. My redness does not show at all all when I use it. I didn't use it today. I used the Wet n Wild one and that one's really good too. But this one, my favorite. Alright, now and on to some eyeshadows. I have a couple from ColourPop that I want to talk about that I absolutely love. I have not used them yet. Actually, I take that back. I've used one. But there are Two other ones that I've ordered that are just so gorgeous. I cannot wait to use them. Um, the first one is Moonwalk. They are the Super Shock Shadows. And this, like I said, this is in Moonwalk. This is a, look at that. You can just see the shift in it. It is a duochrome color. And like I said, you can see the shift in it. It is just so gorgeous. I absolutely love this shade i did use this in a video um a while back i can't remember which one it was but it's got like a brown it's a brown base with like an olive green shift to it it is just ugh, it is amazing i absolutely love this color all right, next one I want to talk about is Fantasy. And it is a purple, it looks like another duochrome, but not really. It's a purple with a pink reflex in it. It's got like pink glitter in it. It is just, well, I love the feeling of these. They are just so, so soft and so smooth. That is just, ugh. 
it looks pink on the hand, but it's purple in the pan. If that makes any sense. It is oh, so gorgeous. I love it. And the last Super Shock Shadow I have is the Slave to Pink, which is a hot pink color. I look at this and I think of Gem in the Holograms, because y'all know Gem in the Holograms is my jam. And I just, it is just a super hot pink. I cannot wait to use this. Oh, so gorgeous. And it's got like a, it's got pink glitter in it. And it's just mm, so super gorgeous. I love them. I definitely, definitely recommend that you guys pick these up if they are still in stock. Um, so yeah. All right. On to some lipsticks. Um, I have two lipsticks from Ulta Beauty that I absolutely adore. They are their new matte metallic liquid lipsticks because you guys know I'm a sucker for metallic lipsticks. I don't know what it is. I don't have one on today, but I don't know what it is that I just love metallic lipsticks. Um, this one is in the shade Sassy and it is a rose gold shade. It is so gorgeous and it they dry down so comfortably on the lips they're not too drying and they're not really gritty because some metallic shades can get gritty but this one these ones are not that is sassy and the other one i have is disobey this is a gorgeous dark brown with like a bronze shimmer in it it is oh i wouldn't say too dark i would say it's more like a a milk chocolate brown it is so gorgeous i love them i love them all right i oi what, what what am i saying <laughs> a matte liquid lipstick that i have loved and i've worn in a couple videos is jeffree star's family jewels this one was a little bit darker than what I expected it to be. I'm running out of room on my hand. But there it is right there. It is just, oh, I love it. I don't know. I said this in my last favorites video. I don't know what he did with the formula for the summer collection, but it feels more comfortable than any other ones that I have. Um, but yeah, that's it right there. It is just, it's a gorgeous brown. It just brings out the brightness of your smile and it just and it's so comfortable it it's beautiful i love it i wore this like i want to say like two three videos love it i like my highlight today <laughs> um and last actually no i got two more lip products to talk about this one is from Gerard Cosmetics. It is their Supreme Lip Cream in Wonderland. This one right here is just, oh, it is a gorgeous la lilac lavender color. And these Supreme Lip Creams feel so good on the lips. They kind of remind me of the ColourPop Ultra Satin um, lippies. And this one is just so gorgeous. I wore this yesterday in my photos for when I did um, my look for the second day. Because right now on my Facebook, I'm doing this 30 days of 30 palettes look. Which is sad that I can say that I have more than 30 palettes. But, <laughs> but I did wear this yesterday with my look and it's just, oh, it is so gorgeous. Your lips just feel so comfortable and it's it's not drying at all. Like I said, it's like the consistency of the ColourPop Ultra, Ultra Satin Lips and I, I love them. The last lip item I have is actually a lip topper that I just recently reviewed and it's from Pure. It is from the My Little Pony collection, and it is in Rainbow Dash. This is just such a cute lip gloss topper that I cannot get enough of it. It's a, it's a blue, it's right here, and it has like a shift of like pink and purple in it. And it's just so pretty. I, if you saw my review for the My Little Pony palette, you saw that I put this 
over top of Too Faced Lady Balls and it looked gorgeous. I just think that it, it's just a gorgeous color. I, I love it and it smells, it smells great too. I, I just love the smell of it. <laughs> All right, we are just moving on along. All right, a highlighter that I want to point out is actually the one that I am wearing. And it is from Nightshade Cosmetics, and it is in the shade Opal. And it is, this is what it looks like. If you guys saw my um, indie brand Sneaky Peek, you guys saw um, me rave about this. I mean, look at this glow. I did have to kind of like tone it down because I put just a tad bit too much on. But I did have to tone it down a little bit. I did use it in my... Um, inner corner of my eye as well it's just oh, it is just so gorgeous i love it I'll put it right here for my punks tattoo so gorgeous so gorgeous another item from nightshade cosmetics that i am enjoying is the bronzer um and it is in the shade chai like chai tea I did use it today. I have a little bit right here on my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit right here underneath my chin. So Felicia's not as noticeable. It does have a shimmer to it. I don't know if you guys can see. It does have a shimmer to it. So it's not a matte um, bronzer. It does have a shine to it. There it is right there. It is just so gorgeous and it blends like a dream i absolutely positively love it all right two palettes we're going to talk about and then we are going to go on to my not so favorites first palette you guys should not be surprised that i brought this bad boy out it is what i used my look for today i don't care what anybody says about this palette because I love it I absolutely love this palette um, if you guys go into my review of it you can just see what I have to say about it it is amazing these colors are awesome look how clean my palette is as opposed to everyone else's that is dirty because they just keep digging their brush in their palette um, I used Dawn um, I used Dawn right here in the as my transition. Then I used Untamed in the crease. Then Axis on the corner, and then Electric on my lid. And it just, I just love it. I can't wait to do a lighter look with it. I've done two smoky eyes with it <laughs> so far, <laughs> but um, yeah, just look how clean it is. I, my favorite shades are Electric and surprisingly edge is my favorite shade too i have yet to use it and i can't wait to use it it's like this like mustardy yellow oh so pigmented so gorgeous this is electric and this is edge that is what it's called right yeah yeah edge it's just awesome amazing i I cannot rave enough about this. Um, it is available on Ulta, Sephora, and I do believe Anastasia did restock this on her website. I'm not sure. And it's available on Beautylish, so go get this. If you are uncertain about it, though, go in stores and test it out. It is in stores, so go test it out if you're uncertain about it, but I promise you, you're going to love it. There goes my AC. Last palette we're going to talk about is from BH Cosmetics. It, it is their Solar Flare Palette. And you're probably wondering to yourself, Melissa, you haven't really used this palette. I did swatch this on Facebook and on Instagram. So if you're on my Instagram, you saw it. Um, this is what it looks like. And it is <laughs> so gorgeous. Now, they're baked and they're all shimmers. There's no mattes to this palette at all whatsoever. I'm gonna turn upside down so you guys don't have to look at my house. Um, there's no mattes to this at all whatsoever. They're all shimmers. My favorite shade is Fireball. Actually, I have two. Fireball 
and Gamma Ray. These two are just so gorgeous. I can't wait to play with this palette a little bit more and make a look out of it. Look at that. Look at that pigmentation. So awesome. That is Fireball and that's Gamma Ray. So gorgeous. I absolutely love this palette. Right now they are running their Labor Day sale where you can um, buy one, get one. I think it's for free or half off. And then they have 25% off of brushes as well. So go pick this up. I am going to wash all this off with my Ulta Beauty Fresh Face Micellar Cleansing Water. I have fallen in love with this. I absolutely love it. It stinks to high heavens, but it gets the job done. I mean, it takes off waterproof eyeliner. I put on waterproof better than sex mascara, and y'all know how bad that is to take off. This just took it right on off. Um, so I absolutely love this. So this is what I'm going to use to take off my swatches. Another makeup remover that I enjoy is from Georgette Klinger. It is the three times makeup remover. It is for all skin types. So, and it's good for sensitive skin as well. Cause y'all know I have very sensitive skin and this does not irritate me at all whatsoever. Um, it just, the ingredients are rose hip seed oil, olive oil, apricot kernel oil, and squalane, whatever that is. So, um, yeah, I would check this out as well. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to take all this off and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. See, that my solar water just took everything off. No traces of anything left on my arm. All right, so now that I have spread the love for 21 minutes, I'm going to fly right through the items that are not my favorite. First things I want to talk about, <laughs> I should not be surprised I'm pulling these bad boys out, and that is these silicone brushes. I tried so hard to like these after I did the Are They Really Worth a video, but I could not like them in the slightest. The only two I like are these two right here. And it is the 134 Pro Silicone Liner Detailing Brush and the 135 Pro Silicone Brow and Liner Brush. These are the only two I really like. And the only two I use quite often, um, especially if I'm doing like a lip art. I use this. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see the point because there we go. <laughs> um, this is really good for lip art. And I like using these for my cream um, liners and my gel liners. These three right here just... They can pick up the products really good. They just can't distribute them right. And I get so frustrated. If you guys saw that video, y'all saw my mini Melissa meltdown. I got so frustrated with these things that I just... They're not worth it. I don't even think I Kate House has these in stock anymore. Um, but those were a no-go for me. I gotta put them in my cup. <laughs> um, two green concealers that I did not like in the slightest. Um, should not be surprised. Um, the AOA Studio Wonder Cover. It was. It's just too green. It's too thick and it dries oh, look how green that is look how green this is compared to the nyx one look at that look how green that is compared to the next one this is the nyx one that's the aoa studio one come on people but what look how green that is it's just too green it's too thick it dries super fast so you have to like keep blending and blending and blending and it leaves a horrible green tint behind not worth it in the slightest another one i didn't like is the hard candy sheer envy cushion wonder in green my main issue is the smell it smells like straight up baby powder the concept of it I actually like. I like the cushion, 
but <sighs> the smell is just god awful. It doesn't go away, so your face smells like baby powder all day. Um, it is lighter than the AOA Studio. It does its job. It does, but it does leave a little bit of green tint behind. Not as bad as the AOA Studio one, but it does leave a little bit of green tint behind, and it just the smell is just horrendous. I don't want my face smelling like baby powder all day. So yeah, this is a the no. A primer I want to talk about from AOA Studio is the Wonder Skin Perfecting Blur Primer. Yeah, I know it's a dollar. I wasn't having high expectations, but I thought it'd be better than what it is. Basically, it's a gel with gold glitter in it. I'm not kidding. Um, I guess it was trying to be like a very cheap version of the Guerlain um, a primer. It doesn't really blur anything. And like I said, I have it right here on my punk tattoo. And like I said, it has gold glitter in it. So it does make your face sticky. And that's good for your foundation. But it doesn't blur like it says it's going to. And it just leaves specks of gold glitter all over your face. So it's just like, um, yeah, no. So, I would pass on this, even though it was a dollar, I'd pass. <sighs> these two. I wanted to love these so bad. I gave these so many chances. They are the NYX eyeshadow bases. One in white, one in black. The concept of them is great. They're creamy, just like the green concealer. But they don't dry down and I don't want to put a cream on my eye that's not gonna dry down because what happened was the now the white one's more creamier than the black one for some reason because um, what happened is I put it on my eyes and of course it creased so my eyeshadow looked horrendous. I was just like, okay, if I want to use it like this, I will just use my Tarte Shape Tape. Um, basically to like bring out, you know, a pastel color or to like bring out a, a shimmer shade that doesn't really have a lot of pigmentation. That's what you could use these for, but they don't dry down. So it was just like my whole eye was creasing. So they were a no-go for me. I, I'd probably use these for like Halloween art or something. I don't know. So these were a no-go for me. And I tried them excessively. So last item I have is an eyeshadow palette. And don't kill me when I pull this out. It is the pure My Little Pony palette. I don't hate it but I don't love it. The packaging is amazing, phenomenal, gorgeous. Love the packaging. The palette, on the other hand, not all that great. The color selection is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. I love the color selection, except for these three random colors right here. I hate these colors. They, in my opinion, they did not need to be there. But... The pigmentation on it is awful. I'm going to take this purple one for example. And they're really hard. They're not soft at all in the slightest. Come on now. That one is magic. I'm going to swatch this one right here, which is generosity. they're not soft at all and if my on my new phone my mic picks up everything so if you listen real closely you can hear the scratchiness of the shadows as I'm rubbing my finger on them so it's just like 
I think Pure could have spent a little bit more time on this, considering the Trolls palette was off the charts. I love my Trolls palette. This one just disappointed me in all shapes, sizes, ways, forms. It just it disappointed me. So, yeah. Like I said, I don't love it, but I don't I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I'm kind of in between because there are some shades that actually do look really good and they do. They are pigmented, but the whole palette is just No. I I can't. I can't do it. So, that concludes my August favorites and not so favorites. Um I am sorry I didn't get this video out yesterday, but I needed to take a day off. So, yeah. <laughs> on my lips, I have Jeffree Star's Chrysanthemum. And, um, yeah, you guys know everything else I have on my face. So, yeah. Um, as always, you can follow me on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Melissa Garrett. On Snapchat as Melissa Leah 1223 And on Instagram as Melissa Leah Garrett come on over we have fun on those pages as well i do not however have a twitter account so if you see one with my face and this gorgeous smile report it because it's fake also if that subscribe button is red it's the wrong color you need to change it and don't forget to share this channel out to everyone as well i love you all so much and i will see you on tuesday with a very special swatch and review bye i forgot to take the timer off <laughs> this video is 30 minutes long. What's up with his eyebrow? My eyebrows are just, pff, they do what they want. <sighs>